Welcome to the Orchid Saga. So yeah, today I have another uh, repotting video. I uh, sort of made a playlist the last uh, couple of weeks, but we have quite a, quite a few that needed a repot. So also uh, today, and uh, also I think uh, it's handy to have some repotting videos for uh, people who like to know more about uh, the system that I uh, grow my orchids in. And today we're going to uh, repot this one. It's the Harvianum, Dendrobium Harvianum, and it's doing kind of okay, but you can see it has some, some black spots on the leaf, leaves, and I have this for several years now, and maybe this cakey finally starts to uh, grow bigger, because you can see the previous one is, uh, did stop growing, and that happened quite often. I do have it in bloom. I actually have a spike here. I hope you can see it here in the middle of the screen. I know I didn't uh, notice that yet, but it's a spike. But anyhow, it's uh, adapted to the system, so I should be uh, fine uh, by repotting this and have some blooms. So uh, yeah, it's doing okay, but I think it can do better. So therefore I uh, changed this setup a little bit for this one. So I'm going to get uh, this uh, Orchid to my up-putting table and now uh, let's have a look. So we are in the orchid room at the up-putting table and I just uh, did take a tag out and you can see 2019 I did put it up in this setup so yeah it can uh, do with a little bit of cleanup and so far it's it's doing better. It, uh, it had some smaller growth here but these guys do start to get a bit bigger again so I think we are uh, getting on the right track again with this one but it's it can do better let me get uh, get it out of the pot i have small pumice and small lecca here but you can see we have some roots to work with so it's not bad but like i said i think it can do a bit better we have some older roots here as well let me uh, come up a little bit closer so yeah let's have a look and therefore we need to take it out of the pot, of course. Some old leaves. And yeah, we have some new cakey starting here. And it's, I just uh, obviously noticed this spike here. It's funny, I, I didn't see it. It has some old spikes. Finally, a cakey that seems to be growing bigger. It kept making these cakeys and then uh, they died off. But this one seems to be a bit bigger. That would be fun. I would like to have a few more of these because this is an orchid that uh, did I like and more people. I see it more often on uh, on YouTube as well. So, but uh, let's uh, get this off first. The wire, and then we have. Whoops! Don't break the roots of that cakey. There. There we go. Let me see, there's the spike, there's the cakey. So, let's see. I even had some lecca, some bigger lecca on the bottom. As you can see here, some uh, pieces of lecca. Which I don't use as much in, anymore these days, but still. It works of course, but I like the pumice a bit more. As you probably know by now with all those repottings. So yeah, it doesn't look bad actually. Let me put it up a little bit closer so it has quite some roots. So yeah, this is going to be just a clean up. We have some other roots in here. And I see that I have quite some syntic here. Let me adjust the camera angle so you can see it a little bit better. I think this is a bit easier for you guys to see. <laughs> But this black stuff is a uh, Cintiq and I think this one didn't need the Cintiq, but I didn't know back in the days. <laughs> but it's just a bit too much. So I try to take it off now while we have it out of the pot. Let me see. I don't want to break those good roots here, of course. I might break a few, but... Let me uh, grab my scissors. Oops. And just cut a few off. 
few dead ones. Sometimes, sometimes that makes it a little bit easier to get the rest off. But yeah, here we go. Not gonna reuse the Syntec. I try to boil it once, <laughs> like uh, I do with the Lekka and the Pommes. But the Syntec, oh yeah, <laughs> it starts to smell really, really bad. So yeah, I just buy new Syntec I ha if I have to. And I don't use as much Syntec anymore because I don't need it. But like I said, back in the days I didn't know and I just needed to uh, try uh, things out. So yeah, most of the times if I use Syntec, it's just a little bit like... Uh, like uh, with, uh, w what I want, uh, which I would do with moss. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> words were a little bit hard there. Is this dead? Let me check. It's broken. Well, actually, that's a loose piece of root. How about you? You seem to do fine, yes. Not that many dead roots. Can you believe it? It's uh, 2019, so 20, 21, 22, almost uh, three years, let's say two and a half years in this setup. And it doesn't have much roots, but the roots that are there are, and most of them are alive. So that's good, I think. But you can even see here, this is a piece of moss, a little piece, but that's not good, of course. I didn't take that off some way. <laughs> Somehow, I mean, mm, this word, let me check. It seems to be okay. So I'm gonna leave it there. Oops. Don't want to damage this. Actually, cakey as well. <laughs> this one. This is an old cane. Yes, it's really, a, it was a loose already. A very, very old cane. So yeah, it's not, not bad to get that one off. So yeah, I think I have some older roots here, but two maybe, that's all. So let's cut those off. This one and the rest. It's, those roots are a bit brown, yes. Is this, let me check quickly. You see, I can pull it, which I do now, but it doesn't break. These roots are still alive. I'm not pulling too hard, of course, <laughs> because it, then it will break. But uh, just checking if the velamen is uh, still uh, alive. Get a bit of that moss off here, because it's very... There's quite some moss there, and I like the moss, but sometimes it can keep them a little too moist. I see a new uh, growth there that didn't make it. So maybe it was a little bit too mossy. Too much moss. Too wet, I should say. Yeah. Looks fine to me. Yeah, just checking quickly. This is it. So I'm going to uh, clean up and then we will find a, a bit of a different setup for this one, just to try out. So I will uh, be right back, of course. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is uh, also an orchid that I want to try in a, a net pot. I hope that a little bit more air in a pot may result in the orchid uh, growing a little bit bigger root system. It has, it has a nice root system, but still I think maybe it can have a little bit more. So it will be uh, getting into this net pot, plus I will use some small pommes this time. I'm just going to fill in a little layer with this uh, pommes to start with. Again, this is always a little bit dusty, so I uh, try to uh, avoid the dust in my nose. <laughs> so let's put it in. You can see it. And I try to find a spot in a bit in the middle of the pot because um, 
it's growing in in different directions so therefore it's handier to get it in the middle so we have at least two more uh, years of growth um, on the sides of the pot so let's uh, fill the pot up because i did find a nice position i think of this plant a little bit of Cintiq, which is the uh, wick for uh, this pot. Let's put the rest of the Cintiq in there. And fill it up with small pumice. A little bit more here. See some gaps there that needed to be filled up. I think this is very nice. So let's grab it. There's always some th pumice uh, falling out, the small pumice, because the pumice is very uh, tiny and the holes are not that, not that big, but apparently some pumice. Uh, will fall through and that's okay eventually it will stop doing that <laughs> so i will give it a flush when i'm done uh, repotting but first we need to uh, put it a little uh, top layer of pebbles around it and then like i said i need to flush it and then we are already done with this repot because it was doing uh, actually a bit better than I was thinking, to be honest. I wasn't sure if I uh, would have some alive roots in there, but there were quite a lot actually. So this is, uh, this is it. I'm going to flush it and then I will put it back in the greenhouse. And we, of course, we will have a last look at the orchids. So I will uh, be uh, right back again. <laughs> And we are back again in the greenhouse. <laughs> and here it is in its new setup. So like I said, I just give it a flush. So, and then those pebbles turn uh, very uh, black. And when they dry, they're more a gray color, as we just saw. Um, whoops, it's now tangled up with a spike there. <laughs> Why are you doing, there we go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we have a new spike here coming. Let me put it down. The shaking should stop. <laughs> so yeah, we have here, this is a new spike. And this is a keiki that is fairly, fairly bigger than the rest. They always had these types of keikis just starting and then they died off. But this one seems to be getting bigger and we still have growing root tips there on this one. So yeah, maybe I can... Uh, propagate this one that would be nice of course and at least one spike most of the times is if it starts with one there should be more in the near future so that's great and like i said this one is used to the setup so it shouldn't mind yeah actually i think we have an eye here on this cane yeah now you can see it better so that's probably is going to be a spike as well but uh, we will see uh, especially in the blooming updates of course so yeah, this is it. It was a fairly uh, nice repot, a little bit, a bit of a surprise. I didn't uh, know it had so many roots, actually. I think it could have even a bit more, but still, I think it's doing fine. It's not always the easiest one to grow, I believe, but yeah, I have it for years and I have it uh, in bloom every year. And maybe from uh, this, uh, this year, I might have my first cakey that I can divide. Who knows? Anyhow, I hope you uh, like this uh, repotting video one of uh, several <laughs> these weeks but anyhow if you have questions please leave them in the comment section below and for now of course if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and maybe you want to subscribe to my channel that would be awesome as well if you didn't already have and of course i hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos bye bye